Right now at noon, we're learning more after a tragedy in the water over the holiday weekend. A teen killed and nearly a dozen people injured in a boat crash. The 17-year-old who lost her life is being remembered today at the Catholic All Girls High School she attended in Southwest Miami-Dade. We have team coverage at noon on the boat accident and the victims. And we begin things with Local 10 News reporter Trent Kelly live at Jackson South. Trent. Well, Christy, as things stand now, we know investigators from Florida Fish and Wildlife are continuing to look into the official cause of Sunday night's boat crash. It comes as three of the victims who were most seriously hurt continue to be here in the hospital. Two of them still here at Jackson South. Two days after a Labor Day weekend boat crash that injured nearly a dozen people off the coast of Miami-Dade, three of the victims who suffered traumatic injuries remain in the hospital as investigators continue to figure out what caused their boat to slam into a navigational buoy. The crash happening around 6.45 Sunday night when the boat carrying 14 people hit the buoy in the waters near Boca Chita Key. The impact causing several people to be thrown into the water, many of whom were later rescued by both Good Samaritans and first responders before being taken to Black Point Marina to be checked out and treated. Out of the 14 people on board, 11 were injured, including four who had to be airlifted to Jackson South Hospital with life-threatening injuries, with one dying early Monday. As Florida Fish and Wildlife investigators now look into the cause of the crash, sources confirmed to Local 10 the vessel involved was a 28-foot boat being driven by the father of one of the teen girls on board. The group, out celebrating a birthday at the time, was in the process of heading back to Ocean Reef near Key Largo when the crash took place. Why the boat hit the buoy is still unknown, with investigators expected to release more information sometime soon. And so far, FWC has not released a full account of all of the passengers who were on board that boat at the time. But again, we do expect to get some of that information in a report to be released as soon as later today. As soon as that drops, we'll let you know. For now, that is the latest live from Southwest Miami-Dade. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News. All right, Trent, thank you for that information. Our team coverage now is turning to Local 10 News reporter Annalise Garcia. She has warned the victims and talked with a man who jumped in the water to help. Annalise. Christy, Janice, a very emotional day for this Lord's Academy family. Now, not only did they start their day by going to a sunrise visual in Matheson Hammock with hundreds of students from different high schools in Miami, but they also came here to Lord's Academy afterwards and laid flowers in her parking spot. Let's take you to a photo of Lucy Fernandez, this young woman that they're honoring. Sources tell us that the 17-year-old was on a boat celebrating a friend's birthday. Many friends and classmates tell us that she'll be missed for her big smile. She was on the cross country team, Pure Ministry, a big heart they say that this girl had. Now, this Good Samaritan we spoke to tells us that he was on a boat who passed by the scene of the accident. He tells us he was headed out of Ocean Reef and saw this boat upside down in the water. Girls holding on to seemingly unconscious friends screaming for help. This Good Samaritan and several others on his boat jumped into the water fully clothed and started bringing these girls one by one onto his boat. Now, as Trent mentioned, 11 of the 14 on board did suffer injuries ranging from critical to minor. We know that two are still in the hospital uh, in critical condition, one of them in an induced coma. Now, again, we did hear from many friends and family. We actually heard from the Archbishop not too long ago on his reaction uh, to the death of this young woman and this accident altogether. Take a listen. Well, our prayers are with the families that uh, have suffered this great tragedy. It shows us the, uh, the the precariousness of life and what a grif great gift it is. And so we pray for the repose of the soul of the young lady that died and for the recovery of the others. Now we are working to get more information on all of those involved. As I mentioned, two people are still in the hospital, two of these young girls in critical condition. Uh, we do know that this is still very much under investigation. As soon as we learn anything else, we'll bring that to you. But for now, I am live in South Miami. Annalise Garcia, Local 10 News.